there everybody, Annie Kianaga here. Welcome to yoga. So I thought I'd offer uh, today some seated poses. So go ahead and get yourself comfortable on your mat. And, and speaking of seated poses, I'm in a half lotus. If you'd prefer to sit cross-legged in easy posture, that's great. Do what works for you. Also, if you're finding um, sitting cross-legged is not that comfortable for you, you can get a, a pillow or a rolled up towel or blanket and sit on it and that elevates you a little and that can alleviate the situation with your hips and knees if you're finding it a little difficult. Um, also, you can just release your legs forward if you like, straighten them out. So that being said, and also just a, a reminder to, um, if there's certain things that are contraindicated for you, just please don't do those poses. And most importantly, enjoy the practice. So let's go ahead and start by just sitting tall, closing our eyes for a moment. And just feel the movement of the breath. And just let this moment become really simple. Just right now you're experiencing the air on your skin. Notice any surrounding sounds. Be with what is. Mm. Alrighty, that was brief but lovely. You can open your eyes. I hear bird song. I hear chirping. So just, it's beautiful. And also, the spring is springing. There are hibiscus blooming. It's really gorgeous. It's a gorgeous early evening. Alrighty, so. Um, Let's get started by releasing our legs forward. So just straighten your legs. And give them a little shake. Now press down into your hands, lift through the crown of the head, draw the shoulders back and down. So you're basically creating like a perpendicular, uh, you're perpendicular through the torso to your mat. So press into your hands, lift, flex your feet. On the inhale, reach up high. Exhale, fold forward and down. Now you can take hold over the tops of your toes, the balls of your feet. It gives your toes a nice little stretch. Or you can take hold of the outer edges of your feet. Or just take hold of your legs if that's what's available to you. Rest here for a moment. Let's try that again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Lift, exhale, fold. So let's just be here for a little bit. We can use the breath to come deeper into the pose. On the inhale, you can come up a tiny bit. Just rise up through your back skyward. On the exhale, just soften down. you come back up awesome so bring your knees in towards you now take hold once again over the tops of your toes the balls of your feet lean back relax the shoulders down try not to hunch during this next part keep your back nice and straight you'll see why a little later it really helps with balancing to, to not hunch anyway so inhale lift that right leg bring it out to the side back down. Oh, I'm giving mirroring instructions again, of course. So when I tell you to move your left, I move my right, etc. So we look the same. I think it's helpful. Inhale, lift the other leg out to the side, back and down. Deep inhale, out to the side. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, out to the side. Exhale, back and down. Now lean back, relax the shoulders down. Lift your legs like so. This is an interesting proposition, don't you think? <laughs> yes, see what you can do. Now, if you can't hold on to your feet, just um, hold behind your knees. That's fine. Do what you can, modify it. And then see if you could straighten out your legs. Remember not to hunch. That helps you keep your balance. 
Separate your feet, bring them back together. Let's try that again. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Wow, that was fun. All right, bring the feet down, press the soles of the feet together. We're gonna do a little Baddha Konasana. Press into your hands, let the knees drop. Lift through the crown of the head. Nice inner groin stretch, I'm sure you notice. So as you inhale, just lift the knees a little. Exhale, let them drop and fold forward, pressing into your hands. Let's try that again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Great. Now see if you can take hold of your feet like so, and see if you can have your elbows in advance of your shins and just draw forward and down. And come back up. Okay, great. All righty, so bring your left leg out to the side and your right foot press it against your inner thigh like so. Flex that foot out to the side. Press into your hands, lift through the crown of the head. There you go. Place your left hand to the outside of your right knee, right hand behind you. Take a deep inhale, exhale, draw yourself around. Inhale, look back to center. Exhale, draw yourself around again. Beautiful spinal twist. Take a deep inhale, come back to center. Exhale, start reaching out toward your foot. And what I want you to do is see if you can lasso your big toe with index, middle, and thumb. If you can't, just take hold of your leg. Drop, start dropping the elbow down toward the inside of the leg. Now I have really long arms, so this might be a little easier for me, but that's the orientation. Press down on the other knee, lift and rotate the upper shoulder up and back, lift your gaze, inhale, reach up high, exhale, extend this arm over your head. So your head's between your two arms, basically. Reach for that foot, if you can't reach it, it's fine. It's just having that beautiful stretch on the upper side of your body, down into the lower back, on that right side. It's really fantastic. Breathe. And then come back up. Yay. Now let's face that leg. You can bring your foot down a little bit, the inner thigh, if that's a little more comfortable. Flex that foot. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward and down. Another beautiful variation on the forward fold. And come back up. Now, first you have to see if your knee gives you permission for this next one. If it doesn't, just keep your foot right here. If your knee says it's okay, go ahead and place your foot on your upper thigh. See if that works for you. All right. Bring the other knee in towards you. Stir up that foot. Take a deep inhale, lift that leg skyward. Ah, oh, interesting. Now don't hunch, keep the shoulders down. Look up at your pretty toes, breathe. Now see if you can take hold of the outer edge of that foot, draw it over to your right, and look out of your left fingertips. Why not, huh? I'm looking at a very pretty lemon tree, lots of lemons. They're gorgeous, actually. Probably, some of them are probably ready, ready for picking. All right, bring that leg down. Take a deep inhale, reach up high. Exhale, fold forward and down. And come back up. All righty, let's try the other side. I bet you saw that coming. Okay, so this would be your right leg out to the side. Flex that right foot. Press the other foot along the inner thigh. Place your right hand, the outside of your left knee, left hand behind you, take a deep inhale, exhale, draw yourself around, inhale, face forward, exhale, draw yourself around. Fantastic. Now go ahead and lasso that big toe with index, middle, and thumb, or take hold of your leg. Once again, have this orientation of dropping the elbow to the inside of the leg if you can. Press down on the other knee, Lift and rotate the upper shoulder up and back. Lift your gaze. Take a deep inhale. Reach up high. Exhale. Extend that arm over your head as best you can. 
and see how much you can drop that elbow down. Breathe. So it's just a lovely stretch for this lower quadrant on the left side of your back. It's fantastic. Enjoy. And come back up. Now go ahead and face that leg. You can bring that foot down the inner thigh a little bit. Flex that foot. Inhale, lift up high. Exhale, fold. Lovely. Come back up. Again, you have to ask permission of your knee. See if your knee's okay with this. Either it says no, you keep the foot where it is. Otherwise, if it's a green light on that, you can place your foot on the upper thigh. Bring the other knee in. Stir up that foot and then just launch that leg skyward. What do you think of that? Keep the shoulders down, lift your gaze, breathe. Alrighty, take hold of the outer edge of that foot if you like, draw it over to your left and look out over your right fingertips. And then bring that leg down, take a deep inhale, reach up high, exhale, fold. And come back up. Didn't that feel good? All right, let's go ahead and honor our little practice now with a little meditation and relaxation. So go ahead and if you want to lie down, you can. If you choose uh, Shavasana, which is lying flat on your back, legs and arms extended, or you can sit in a meditation posture as I'm doing. Please choose according to what you need again. This is time to really nurture yourself. Take good care of yourself. And give yourself time to feel that timeless you, that place inside of you that's beyond place and time, that's always there, that pure light. Just stay with that. Hmm. So if you're lying down, just let your arms and legs extend. If you're sitting, just sit tall and just in either case, just close your eyes. If you're, on, if you're lying down, just sink downward. Let there be no tension. Let your feet fall out to the sides. Soften your knees. Unclench the sitting bones area. Soften your chest and belly. Slacken your jaw. Smooth your forehead. If you're sitting, just feel that connection to the earth beneath you through your sitting bones. The bones closest to the earth when you sit. As you lift skyward through the crown of the head, so I'll leave you now actually. I'll let you stay in this beautiful meditation and relaxation as long as you need. And without further ado, I say that word that honors the light in each of us, all sentient and insentient beings, by saying Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Stay well and happy until we meet again.